Welcome back to TV5 News at 9. It's time now for Education Matters. We're here with Dr. Craig Douglas this morning. Thank you so much for being here. Good I'm always morning. so excited when you're here because I have a 10 and a 12 year old. Everything you tell me, I am just <laughs> jotting it down. Okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to try this. You're too kind. I, oh, I love, we just love having you here. So well, today we're talking about some positive mm -hmm. trends in education. Uh, tell us about growth mindset. What's that? The idea of growth mindset, I'm going to use my old subject, mathematics, as an example. Okay. Uh, back in the day, it was not unusual for someone to say, you know, I'm not very good at math. A growth mindset would be, I accept the challenges math puts forth for me. Love it. So a growth mindset is eliminating I can't from the mind and looking at how can I and then I ultimately can. So it's kind of a problem solving, aggressive, positive approach, taking everybody where they're at and moving ahead from there, a growth Girl. mindset. And you can, you can add in positive reinforcement too. You do it, oh you did, look how great you did with that. Even at my age, yes. we're always growing and learning. Always, I love yes. that. I, I believe I do that. Yes. Uh, I'm so glad about that. Okay, listen to this. The next thing we're going to talk about is maker learning. What is that? Maker learning is hands-on approach to learning where students are engaged tactily okay. with puzzles, games, mm. shapes, and objects, even as they advance robotics. If you think about it, robotics is a way of maker learning. You're making an object and you're learning as you grow with that object. So it's kind of a springboard of the growth mindset. Okay. It's maker, hands-on, it's tactile, and it's, it's very much applicable to, to the modern era we're in where careers are changing so rapidly. Right. It's being able to adapt. Now, people do a lot with Legos and things. Is, is that all a part of it? Absolutely. And these great battle example. bots that they're making with the robots? I have my children doing those too. Those are That's great good. examples. Good. Okay. Mm -hmm. I love it. Another big trend, Bloom's taxonomy. Now, you have got to explain that to us. Benjamin <laughs> Bloom invented, uh, developed Bloom's taxonomy back in the 50s. But it's really re energized because Bloom's taxonomy goes from very low level memorization and uh, understanding facts okay. at a very superficial level to a deep understanding and very analytical approach. And again, think of the changes in our society today. It's a very analytical, a very team, collaborative, yes. uh, goal-oriented. Yeah. And that's the higher levels of Bloom's taxonomy. So you'll find schools are really trying to go with deep dives into concepts so that kids are really, really thinking deeply and analytically. Give us an example of well, that. Well, the difference between, in histories, for yeah. example, the difference between memorizing a date okay. and really understanding all the events that led up to that date yes. and the re repercussions of whatever happened on that date. Oh. A deep understanding. A understanding. And if you think about it, there's ripple effects from almost any date in history, even to the current era. I love that. And yeah. you can really understand that subject right. and topic. Thank you. See, Dr. Douglas, I didn't have my notepad over here, <laughs> but I have it right up here. Thank you so much. If you have any information, anything that you'd like to know about today's topic, please check out the TV5 hot link section. Thank you, Dr. Douglas. Thank you.